Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm an occupational therapist. My job is to help people do the things they want to do. For some people, it could be simply tying their shoes after an injury. Others, returning to indoor biking. Yet what's important for someone else might be returning to their job after an injury. At Braille Institute, as a low vision occupational therapist, my job is to help clients maximize their remaining vision and so they can participate in reading, writing, and things they like to do. Some tools that we might use include magnification, lighting suggestions, and something as simple as increasing the size of the lettering is very helpful. We look forward to meeting you all. The role of a low vision occupational therapist at Braille Institute is to collaborate with our clients during our consultation to determine their personal goals. So during the evaluation, which may include a functional vision assessment, such as lighting, reading, glare filter, and also assessment of your daily activities and how your vision is affected by them. And some of the questions we may ask are, do you have difficulty locating clothing in your closet? Or selecting buttons on your microwave? Or locating food on your plate? So all the areas of difficulties we determine, we then discuss about what is important to you and what you would like to be more independent in. And so from there, we assist you in exploring devices, educating and training and compensatory strategies, and referring you to our other services to maximize your vision and also help you achieve those goals. Since the pandemic started, we have been providing low vision services via teleservice. Um, similar to this, just like in a video conference or audio conference. And although the technology can be a bit challenging, um, we're able to provide a kind of an abridged version of the assessment that we do in person and really get uh, some good background information to move forward on a, on a plan to, uh, to help with your low vision needs. Moving forward into 2021, we're really excited to be back in the centers at, at some point in the near future and to start providing the low vision services, of course, in person again. In the meantime, we're hoping that everyone will take advantage of the teleservice that we're, we're offering so that we can, we can uh, you know, get help to those who need uh, assistance, especially during this time uh, for their low vision needs.